Where's my droid tools? Okay, we have our hammer, we have our flashlight, we got the glue, and the all-important goat. Hey everyone, and welcome to Groove Builders, the show where we create together. Can you guys do me a favor and just try to keep it down a little bit? I don't want GB1 to know where I am. He gets a little bit jealous when we build new droids on the show. And today, we're gonna to be building Dio from the Metal Earth Rise of Skywalker collection. This build looks awesome with its cool colors and really unique shapings. But I can't help but wonder if that cone shape and that wheel shape will give us a hard time like R2-D2's legs. That's actually a really good question. Will it be as hard as that? Well, let's start our investigation on the workbench. Groove Builders, welcome to the workbench. We have our Metal Alert DO droid here in some pretty awesome Star Wars packaging. And I have to admit that this droid looks very unique with uh, its cone-shaped head here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. On the back, we get a brief look at our metal and also a look at our finished model. On the left here, we have a QR code which we can scan to get a 360 view of our build as we're building. Very useful for adding little bits of detail onto our build. And then on the right here, we have some instructions on how to build our model. Finally, on the very bottom, we get a look at some other models in the series. And you better believe we're gonna be building every single one of those. Groovers, let's go ahead and open up our package. We have our instructions. And we have our metal. And take a look at all of that color. That looks really awesome. Meller team did a great job with this. All right, Groovers, let's take a look at our instructions together. Hmm, it looks like we got four pages here for Dio and nothing too crazy in the way of forming. There is some layered detail to do that might be a little bit tricky though. We'll make sure to look into that in a few moments. But first things first, these metal models require us to cut out our parts, then shape them using whatever we can. Once we have the parts correctly shaped, we can connect them together by bending and twisting the tabs. These are indicated in the instructions by circles and triangles. Personally, I try to follow the instructions the first time when it comes to bending the tabs. Then when the build is complete, I'll go over everything again and change anything that may stand out. I like to make my tabs as invisible as possible. Next up, we have our tools. Drum roll, please. For this build, I recommend detailed tweezers, nippers, and something to help you form some cones and cylinders. I use my dapping set and mandrills for my cylinders, along with animate oranges tools for my coning with this build. They work great. If you're looking for tools, look in the link in the description down below. Now, these are just my recommendations, and you really don't need anything but tweezers and nippers to complete these builds. But of course, having the right tools definitely helps. All right, we've reviewed our instructions, we have our tools. All that's left is for you to let me know when you're ready to go by smashing like, and we'll continue on with the build. Don't worry, I'll wait. Ah, thanks, okay, let's get to the build. Dio, as you can see here, doesn't have a whole lot of parts, but the devil is in the detail work. The first thing that we're gonna be looking at is page three, parts 14 through 22. Yes, that's right. It's all about that lovely detail at the back of the head. Now, nothing is super hard to shape here. We are mostly just matching the edges of our parts to shape them into different kinds of boxes. But what's hard is getting the detail installed into part 14. It's very important to follow the order of installation in the instructions for this step. The detail here can easily block you from installing other parts if you're not careful. Take your time here, and if you have to, lightly press on the installed pieces to expose the covered insertion holes. Just don't scratch the paint. The second thing we need to talk about is shaping Dio's head and wheel. Lately, I've been playing around with how I'm using my tools to shape my pieces. Depending on what shape I'm looking for, using my dapping set like this gets me a really nice cylinder. This method also works well with Dio's cone-shaped head. Just don't go all the way like I did. It's important to know, if you're trying this method at home, to use even pressure as you roll your tool on your piece. The harder you press, the greater the bend will become. Keep rubbing until you have the shape you like. Alternatively, you could use your tweezers to slowly bend the part inward a little bit at a time. After doing multiple passes, you should have a nicely shaped part too. 
And finally, the last thing I want to touch on when it comes to building DO is pre-bending the tabs and attaching the detail. I know I might say that a lot, but it's very important for this build. Like in most Star Wars models, DO has layered detail, and with its paint job, you don't want to scratch it. Getting those tabs into their insertion holes can be tricky with the detail being so close together on a lot of the steps. One thing we can do to help us out is to slightly bend one tab inward while having the other tab at 90 degrees. You'll be surprised how easily some of your parts install this way. If you bring your parts over to the model and the tabs don't line up with the insertion holes, you probably have a little bit more bending to do. I know I had to do this a few times with the antennas on the back of Dio's head. Another possibility for a part not fitting in the spot is that the tabs are bent slightly off mark. Using your detail tweezers, you can push and pull the tabs in the direction needed while the part is partially installed. This method makes getting that last little pesky tab on that one tricky part a little easier, but you do run the risk of scratching your paint, so be very careful with it. Getting the wiring right on DO is a little bit of a trial and error process too. Don't be surprised if the detail pops out on you when you're trying to install it in the upper part of the head. Just make sure to connect the detail in the order like the directions say. If you find yourself getting frustrated, step away from the wires and then come back to it a little bit later. I'm sure you'll be able to do it then. Okay, it looks like we're almost done. And little Dio here has only taken three and a half hours. Nice. And there we go, the Metal Earth Dio droid. But now for the moment of truth. Does Dio get the Groove Builder seal of approval? Ah, yes it does. And it gets it not only because it's pretty straightforward to build, but because of its unique shape and really awesome colors. Metal Earth has made all different kinds of droids in the Star Wars collection, and each one has a varying difficulty. And I'll be really honest, I think that this one here is probably one of the easier ones out there. And if you're looking to build your droid collection, I think Dio deserves a proper spot there. All right, group builders, that brings us to the end of our show. I had a really good time building Dio with you, and if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well, as we got all kinds of really cool content coming out in the future. Want to help grow the channel and maybe support us? Well, head over to GrooveBuilders.ca. We got all kinds of cool models on there at great prices, like our friend Dio. Until next time, Groove Builders, keep building. Now, I just gotta hide this guy from GB1. It's gonna be a long night.